Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a cross gable in Sons of the Forest. Now this is something that took me a long time to figure out. It took me about six to eight hours, but I was doing a lot of experimenting and I found a lot of quirks and stuff in the building that are very interesting. Now I've broken it down step by step because it's quite tricky to get working. Now there is two ways to do it. The first way I managed to get it working was without an extra quarter pillar. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to replicate this easily. I think I have an idea of how to do it, but I need more time with it, but I also need more family time. So that's what I've been focusing on. Now, I like to do things in a real world application, meaning I'm not gonna build it off the ground. And the reason being is that I didn't wanna do that and then find out it couldn't be replicated if it's up higher, if you know what I mean. The forest has always been quite finicky and I don't know if Sons of the Forest is like that yet. I'm assuming it is. Now, I'm gonna start with an I shape on this one, a capital I. You can use any shape you want, like a T shape. I'm looking at my keyboard looking for other letters, capital L shape an F shape, E shape, C shape, there's a lot. So please pay very careful attention to what I'm doing here if you wanna be able to do this without frustration. I had to repeat the process 10 times before I nailed it and got it done every single time accurately. But let's get started. So first start with two logs and place them right on the corners. Use cross beams on everything just because it's just easier that way. You can move around easier and if you're not using them, you can remove them later on. Once you've placed those cross beams, get two logs, throw them on the ground and cut them up into quarters. You only really need six, you will need more later on. This only uses full logs and quarter pieces. Now the first two are in between those two pull pillars you placed grab another two and then go up and place it. I don't know how to explain this. As you can see, just please watch the footage and you'll see what I mean. I'm wondering how much I'm gonna leave this unedited because I don't want people to get confused. Once you've placed those six quarter pieces and pillows, you wanna grab four logs and place them over the top of those places. Don't worry about this, you're gonna be removing these later on, but you need them for the placement. Once that's done, place a pillar in the center of that intersection. Grab another two logs, place one on the end of that one and that one facing down. Remember that order, you have to place it in that order. It won't work if if you place it the other way around. Next, you wanna go over to the side ones that you made and drop a pillar down on each one of them. Now grab another two logs and place these logs laying flat down like this. And then what you wanna do is chop the top off this one here. Do not stuff up these chop tops because you'll have to replace them and it might be a headache. I'd actually recommend you watch this again before building this. Once that's done, connect the two pieces that are at the intersecting end. God, this is so complicated. I don't know these terms. Might have to do a bit of architecture research to find out if I'm using the right terms. Once that's done, you wanna chop them down to a quarter on both sides. Stay with the order I've made them in. This game is very dependent on the order you do things. Once that's done, find your way up to the top. And what you wanna do is chop a quarter off the top of the side ones from the middle piece. God, the terms are just not gone with me. And then that is it. That's it, you are done. This is all you need to do. Don't touch it. You can remove those quarter pieces you placed before to get that log to go sideways. As of now, you are done. You can just start building it. And as proof, I am going to use console commands to add the logs to show you. Now, if you use console commands and use log hack and you're placing roofs, just place one and then, yeah, you can just use click to place it much faster. You don't have to split the log each time. But there's your cross gable. This is the only main piece you need to do. You can then go and fill the rest. The rest is super simple. Only thing is you can't build a thing around like this. You have to place the quarter pillar on each one first and then you can fill it later on with those four logs until I figure out how to do it without the quarter pillars because I have done it before. It's just going to take me time. But just to show you how it's done, just go around to the corners placing the quarter pillars. You can do this in whatever order you want because I'm using console commands here to speed it up. It's just easier for me to do it this way. But as you can see, you cannot place it unless you have a quarter pillar there. On the side roof, the ones at the end of the I shape or T shape or whatever you're doing, you can actually get away with not using quarter pillars. It might change the look, it might be better, I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. Building in this game takes a substantial amount of time, but I went through and completed the design to show you exactly how it will look in the eye shape. Keep in mind, you might fall off a lot while you're trying to build this. It's very frustrating. Kind of wish they had spike shoes or something that prevented you from slipping off so easy. But I went through and removed most of the stuff underneath and tried to keep what was necessary. I'm not gonna show this in too much detail because this is just trial and error, but I was able to remove most of it. You save a lot of logs by removing the stuff underneath. Only problem is with this is that it looks good, but you can't really utilize the space underneath. 
on where it intersects. Though a good benefit of this is that it's not actually that expensive. It's probably only gonna cost you an extra, I don't know, eight or 10 logs if that. Now you can make this higher if you want like a too high roof. Too high roof? God, that sounds weird. And it would just be the same process, I believe. Just in this current state, the way I've got it, you'll have a quarter log gap in between. But like I said, it is doable without it. I just wasn't able to replicate how I did it the first time. It was a common problem in the forest where I designed something, but I wasn't able to replicate it. Actually, it wasn't that common. I think it happened about five times in the total of like 200 something videos. So I don't think that's common. I just woke up. So I'm thinking off the top of my head. Scripts are for chumps, mate. Well, I will say this without inflating my ego too much. Being able to do this and get the building system to do what I wanted made me feel I was back in the game, which I felt was pretty cool. If you want to leave the gap at the top where that extra quarter pillar is, it can let some natural light into the house. And also, if you're going to place the beams along the top, connecting the two where the roofs come down. You've got to kind of do it before you place the roofs, just so you know. Though I don't know if you actually have to do this. I haven't checked in terms of whether it lets rain in or, not, or snow. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you found this video useful and hopefully it's not too complicated. I think it's a matter of time before we find out if the building system in this is going to give us more freedom or less freedom in the first game. At this stage, I might be thinking it's less freedom. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. This building system isn't fleshed out yet. There's going to be a lot of changes to it. So yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.